So, hello, beautiful <laughs> souls. <laughs> You're welcome. So here we're going to talk, we're going to dig into self-sabotage, you know, those lack of self-esteem. And I'm going to share with you some tools that you will be able to practice later on at home. We're going to practice them together. So you will be able to see if it's relevant for you or not. If it feels relevant and meaningful, you take. If it's not, you're totally free, okay? It's just sharing. Uh, maybe a word to introduce myself. Um, so my name is Florence. As a child, uh, I had some psychic, psychic ability. Mm. But hearing voices and seeing ghosts was just terrifying me. So I closed all the doors. And then I relied on science. I've been working 12 years in radiology until all this came back to me when I was in Nepal. I had a shamanic trance experience. Um, also 20 years of yoga practice behind me, which has reopened those doors. So I propose you to start with a little meditation. We're going to start by stretching. Stretch your whole body. Oh, you stretch everything. Finger, toes, face. Ah. You stretch everything. And then you can sit or lie down as you want. Choose the best position for you. And when you feel like it's the proper position, you can close your eyes. Take a deep breath, and when exhaling, you release everything. Once again, take a deep inhale. And at exhale, relax more. Put your attention on the weight of your body, the pressure between your body and the ground. Feel as it's heavier and heavier as you relax. You can imagine your soul is going into your body downwards, like if you were putting a sock. Feel the weight. Feel this pressure going down, sticking to the ground. Feel the fresh air on your skin. The fresh air which is going into your nostril, going down to your throat, filling your lung and reverse.
Then place your attention on the sounds around you, the ones which are close, people talking, the birds chanting, and further, the music far away. all the life around us. When you feel that the right moment, slowly, slowly, you will open your eyes, like if that was the first time you see. Discover the color and the shape, and smile. You are alive. That's a good reason to smile, at least. So what about this self-sabotage? That's this voice which sometimes will tell you, you are not good enough. Oh my God. You are not worthy enough. People don't like me. So I've got a good news for you. This voice is not you. It's a creation of the mind. We all come to this world as perfect child, crystal clear diamond. There's no mind pollution. At that moment, there's no question. Try to remember. As a child, we are almost always joyful. We are experiencing. We don't ask questions about ourselves. It's so simple. Then this diamond starts to be covered of dirt, the dirt of conditioning. It starts with our parents. They love us so much. They want so much to help us. And they want to prepare us to live in this world. And there starts the, this is good, this is bad. Work at school, be smart, it's a good thing. Be quiet, don't do this, do that. And many inner conflicts start to be built like that because there are contradiction between what we are taught and what we feel. Because this diamond, we are all. It's a kind of inner wisdom. Intuitively, we feel, we know what is fair, what is not fair. And during our lifetime, we will be taught different rules, which don't fit with our inner wisdom. We create beliefs. Some beliefs are helpful to us, but many beliefs are not helpful. So we're going to work on those beliefs that we programmed. I would like to share with you a first tool, which is very easy, that I discovered in Bali during a yoga retreat. It's a loving kindness meditation. So it's to practice loving kindness through a mantra through four mantra actually, very easy. So we're gonna practice it together. We're gonna repeat it. And as we practice it, I invite you to observe what's going on inside you. Mantra are just sentence, message. Mm, you probably know some famous mantra like Om Mani Padme Hum, 
Om Namah Shivaya. It's heard something like that. So yes, it can be a Hindu mantra, a Buddhist mantra, but it can be also a sentence in your own language. So for proper understanding, it will be in English. I'm sorry, I don't speak Serbian. So loving kindness is about feeling this love and this kindness for ourselves, for others. So different exercise, but always the same mantras. It is, may I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself <laughs> just the way I am. So during, let's say, one minute, I'm going to say it out loud. You can say it inside or out loud. out loud. It's up to you. And as you are sending this love and kindness to yourself, observe. Do you accept the message? Is there a blockage? So, up to you, I would suggest to close your eyes because you're going to send those mantra to yourself. And I'm going to repeat them. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. How does it feel to you? Do you feel really this kind wish to yourself? Do you feel this love for yourself or is there some reluctance inside? It's not always easy. So second exercise is maybe easier, the same mantra, but we're going to to send it. We're going to send it to people we love. It can be one person. It can be all your friends. It can be, think about those people you really love. And you sincerely wish them all those sentences. So, once again, one minute. Does the mantra start to print? Yes, no, yes, no. Please tell me, I am not in your mind. <laughs> again and again, it will be printed at one moment. So think about all those people you love and you are so grateful that they are in your life. And we're going to wish them, may you be happy and healthy. May you be free from inner and outer danger. May you love and accept yourself just the way you are. May you be happy and healthy. 
May you be free from inner and outer danger. May you love and accept yourself just the way you are. May you be happy and healthy. May you be free from inner and outer danger. May you love and accept yourself just the way you are. May you be happy and healthy. May you be free from inner and outer danger. May you love and accept yourself just the way you are. So, is it easier to feel this love and kindness to the people you love than to yourself? It is. This practice of loving kindness is supposed to be practiced every day. And the very first step is to send it to yourself. And when you are able, to feel this loving kindness for yourself, then you are supposed to start sending love and kindness to the people you love, to all the living beings, and also to your enemies, to the people who hurt you. The good news is that with repetition, we are printed, we print this way of working in our brain. Okay, so at the beginning it's very complicated, it will be an effort, but as you practice, it will become easier and easier. We were talking about that this morning, when we learn to drive, at the beginning it's very complicated, many things to think, my right foot, left foot, my hand, the speed, it's a lot of things to think. And with practice, it's automatic, that's how our brain works. It's called neuroplasticity. So don't give up any practice. If you would practice long enough, it will be easier and easier. So loving kindness is an easy and first tool. Is it enough for you, the repetition of the mantra, or you want to practice it to print it a little bit more? If you don't answer, we will just do it again. So. We will do it once again for ourselves, okay? Now that you sent love to the people around you you love, keep this feeling, this sincere love and kindness that you can so easily send to the people you love. Keep this, keep this feeling and do your best to turn it inward to yourself because you are as worthy, as good, as those person, no better, no worse. You are as perfect. So I will repeat it four or five times again. To yourself, you have the right to love yourself. You have the right to accept yourself. You have the right to wish you the best. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. May I be happy and healthy. May I be free from inner 
and outer danger. May I love and accept myself just the way I am. How do you feel? Allow yourself to be open to receive love from others, from yourself. It is safe. You are safe. And you deserve this love. It is a right you have since always. So it's a very famous meditation. It's called Metta. You can find it very easily on YouTube or watch and, and so in the recording of the video. So this self-saboteur is telling us, you're not good enough. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do that. See, it's like a kid, animal. There's no self-sabotage, there's no mind pollution. They feel, they experience. They don't ask to themselves, I am able to do this? Should I do that in front of all those people? No question like that. So our parents started to, get, to tell us this is good, this is bad. And we have built the belief that if we do things, they say it's bad, they will not love us anymore. And it's not true. And we started to do the same with ourselves. When I am smart, I love myself. And when I do shit, I hate myself. What? It's not because we are not perfect. You know, it's not because we are doing mistakes that we are a mistake. Don't identify yourself to the bad experiences. They are just bad experiences, let them go. And the trick is that we create fears because of those bad experiences. You will live, I don't know, maybe once in your life you want to declare your love to someone and you are rejected. And then never again. Oh no, I will never do this again. I don't want to suffer again like that. It was too painful. What is this fear, finally? It's just a memory. It's a memory of a bad experience that belonged to the past. It is the past. It's not there. It's over. So fear itself is safe. It's just a fear. It's just a print of the past. Nevertheless, it's there. So we're gonna practice EFT, which is an emotional freedom technique. It's a psychotherapeutic tool uh, used by psychotherapists. Uh, very easy. Um, with this tool, we will be able to program or reprogram ourselves. Those fear, those negative beliefs are like a program in a computer, except that it, it is in our brain. And with a tool like EFT, we can uninstall some program. We can set up new program as well, okay? I would like to highlight some negative beliefs, very common one, due to society. The society will show us, you have to be like that. You have to be like this. For women, it can be, there are many things like shut up and be beautiful. It can be, you have to be very thin with huge breasts and no hair. Woman has no hair. And men, it will be, you need big muscle. And boy, don't cry, of course. You have to be strong. 
Forget all this shit, please. It is fake again. It is just beliefs. Useless beliefs. Then it's your choice to embrace them or not. But if some of them are heavy for you, you can uninstall them uh, with EFT tool. Another common negative belief is life is hard. Life is hard. I need to work really hard to succeed in life, to survive. It's not <laughs> about living our life, it's about surviving. Same, we can program another belief, which is life is easy. And if that was easy, and if I was able to deal with anything that comes to me, because that's the case. Does it meaningful to you, some of those beliefs? Hmm? I'd like to tell it once again. You are perfect. Stop fighting with yourself. She's a dog. She's not fighting with herself. Hmm? Don't judge yourself too hard. So, EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Very easy. We're gonna use the energy meridian that we know in Chinese medicine and our hand. Everybody has hands. Perfect. Everybody can do it. And we're gonna tap. We're gonna tap on some point of the energy meridian on sequences in a certain order. And as we tap, we send energy to those channels, to those vessels. And it will activate energy flow in those vessels. And we're going to bind this with the previous exercise, with mantra, with self-affirmation. So we're going to inject new messages inside our energy network. This is how it works. So, before adding the mantra, the affirmation, we're gonna just tap on those points. So it's better if you are properly on the ground, straight, really be in this body, uh, because if you're not in your body and you're working on it, it doesn't work so well. We're gonna use both hands. Uh, I suggest to use those three fingers in the middle, uh -huh, because regarding our energy body, the three in the middle are special, stronger. And we're gonna tap, we're gonna tap, imagining that it's circulating. So the first point is the top of the head, the middle point, middle point, yes, top of the head. And you tap. And you can breathe properly at the same time. And you make energy circulate in this major meridian. Second point is third eye. Middle point as well. Same. You send energy. Make everything move inside you. Life is about motion. Third point, side of the eyes, the corner, the bone corner. And tap and tap and tap. It's not a serious thing. Just make it be a game. Everything is a game. This life is a huge joke. Have fun. <laughs> then, below your eyes. A tap, a tap, a tap, a tap, a tap. Okay, so you see, we put energy from the top to downward. Then, be just below the nose, here. And I tap, a tap, a tap, a tap. See how I look, tapping, tapping, below the lip, below the mouth, here, on the chin, middle point as well. Don't forget to breathe, huh? Breathing is about energy as well, prana, chi, ki. Then we go to the clavicle head, here. A tap, a tap, a tap, a tap. 
circulating sun energy higher, higher, higher down. Those bones, the clavicles, yes, just here. Then the side, side of the breast. And I tap here as well. Oh, and I breathe and I relax because I'm tapping on myself and it looks so weird. And then below the breast. This is the last one. And you can breathe and stretch. Okay. When we are tapping anyhow, like in the morning to wake up to be in your body, you can also tap on yourself everywhere. Huh? Sending energy, waking up, make this move, baby. Good. And so for the one who have water, also water help your energy flowing and cleaning. So it will be even more active for you. We're going to tap and I will state some self-affirmation. You will repeat them out loud. It's important. Huh? You need to be fully present. You are programming yourself. If you are just like, it doesn't work so well. So be fully here. You want to fix this self-saboteur? Come on. And same that with the meta meditation, with each affirmation, you will feel if it's flowing inside you completely. Or if there is a part of you telling, no, it's not true. So we're going to try different sentence. And then you will be able to see which sentence is working for you and which one you need to dig into. Okay. So this exercise is about programming. Uh, on the computer, sometimes we don't need to remove the previous program. We just set up the new program and it's squeezing it. Okay, it's overwriting. Afterward, we will make another protocol to uninstall a program. So, let's go and try different words. Be there, top of the head, but there's no obligation. Huh? If, you, if you want a break, you can as well. I love myself. I hear nothing. I love, I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. Okay. <laughs> now, third eye, third eye. And if I was loving myself, if I was loving myself, If I was loving myself, side of the eyes, I allow myself to feel loved, to feel loved. I allow myself to feel loved. Below the eyes. I open myself to receive love. Self to receive love. Under the nose. I deserve to be loved. The chin, middle point. I am a beautiful person. I am a beautiful person. <laughs> the clavicle. I allow myself to recognize I am a beautiful person. I allow myself to recognize I am a beautiful person. Yes. 
than the side. People like me. And if people was liking me, uh, and if there was people who like me, you feel differences huh, between the different sentences. Mm -hmm. And below, I am a good person. I do my best. And it's okay to make mistakes. I have the right to make mistakes. And it's perfect. It's okay. Okay, deep, deep breath. Isn't this weird? We don't, we don't say that to ourselves. We don't think about that. The voice we are used to is about, oh, you're making shit. No one like you. You're not smart enough, beautiful enough, whatever. <laughs> so you probably felt a difference between the I love myself at the beginning. Did you believe in that when you say it? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> then if the I love myself is blocking somewhere inside you, try to imagine. And if I was loving myself, you know, just plant the seed of this idea. It can be, yeah, I imagine how it would be if I loved myself. Oh, should I dare that? Love myself. It's so selfish. It's so ego egotic. Ah. But be humble is not about not loving ourselves. Being humble is to recognize that we deserve as much love as others. Let's do something else. Go on with programming ourselves with those positive vibrations. Let's raise this opinion of ourselves because you are beautiful. Yes, yes, hear it. You are. I see it. So please. Hmm? And we're going to go on tapping, tapping. Top of the head. Middle point. I am strong. I am strong enough. I feel strong. I have the right to feel strong. Then third eye. Uh, I am free. I allow myself to feel free. I can do what I want. I have the right to do what makes me feel good. I have the right to do what makes me feel good. side of the eyes. Uh, I am a good person. I allow myself to see I am a good person. I do my best. Below the eyes. I am smart. I am a good student. <laughs> uh, some blockage there. <laughs> but see, you are tapping with me. You are a good student. 
<laughs> I am a good teacher. We are all teacher. I am a good teacher as well. Yes, I am intelligent. I allow myself to see I am intelligent. So below the nose, mm, what else? Hmm. Once again, um, I deserve to be loved. And I deserve to, uh, to love. The more I allow myself to receive, the more I allow myself to receive, the more I can give. So I accept to receive this love. And I can love others. Okay, under the chin. I have capability. I am able to deal with anything. I am strong enough. I am flexible enough. And I am smart enough. Then the clavicle. Mm. I recognize my successes. I recognize all the good things I did. I am a good person. Side of breath. I allow myself to succeed. I deserve to succeed. Okay. Below the breasts. I fully accept myself. Okay. So same, you can stretch, breath. So even when messages are like blocking and the self-saboteur is telling you, no, it's not true, I'm not smart. Ah. The messages are infusing inside you, okay? So you can practice every day. It can be a morning practice. It's very fast. Uh, I did many affirmations at each tapping, but you can do just one sentence. It's one minute, up to you. If it's meaningful to you, uh, once again, if you feel it can be helpful to you, feel free. It's free, actually, so enjoy it. So this is to program ourselves. But sometime, the previous program was so heavy that it's not enough and we need to unprogram it. So the exercise will be a little bit different because we will have a sequence. Well, this sequence will be part of it, but there will be another sequence. We will work on both brain hemisphere, like with ocular movement, if some of you know that we're gonna create some connection between both hemisphere. So we are really making our brain so our brain which will make our life easier. It can do it for us. No? Uh, okay, we're gonna work on even if I am hard with myself. Does it make sense to you? Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, so this time, 
we're going to put our hand like that. Okay? You have a line here, which is actually your love line in hand reading. So the both dot like that. And we tap here. And three times, we're going to state, even if I judge myself hard, I love myself deeply and I accept myself completely. Even if I judge me hard, I love, I love myself deeply and I accept myself completely. Last time. Even if I judge myself hard, I love myself deeply and I accept myself completely. So now back to the previous sequence, top of the head and out loud it's ah, la, la, always judging myself so hard. Yep, third eye, always judging myself so hard. I'm so cruel with myself. Side of the eyes, again and again, judging myself so hard. Like if I was the worst person in the world. below the eyes and still judging myself so hard. Below the nose. Ah, la, la. Judging myself so hard all the time. Like if I was so weak. Below the chin, judging myself so hard, like if I was so stupid. The clavicle, again judging myself so hard. It's not fair. The side of the breath. Judging myself so hard. Why do I hate myself so much? Below the breast. Ah, always judging myself so hard. I want to be done with this. Okay. Inhale. Exhale, and again this point. So now it's about brain exercise. So look straight in front yourself. Close your eyes a few seconds. One, two, three. Open your eyes without moving head. Look down right. Look down left. Then, without moving head, turn your eyes clockwise, looking like circle clockwise. Then, counterclockwise, opposite direction. Then, sing intuitive melody. La 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 la. Really? <laughs> Count to three. One two, three, and again a melody. La, 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 la. Okay, take a deep breath. So this is the brain washing sequence. And now we're gonna install a new program.
top of the head, sequence back. Ah. And if I was cool with myself, and if I was nice with myself, third eye, I can relax. Everything is all right. Side of the eyes. I am a good person. As good as anyone else. Under the eyes, I have many qualities. And I always do my best. Under the nose, Mm. I am a beautiful person. I decide to recognize it. Then below the chin, middle line. I accept what I am. I accept who I am. It's okay. The clavicle. Whatever I do is enough. What I do anytime is the best I can do at that time. What I do anytime is the best I can do as at that time. On the side. And even if it's not perfect, it's good enough. Under the breast, I recognize that I am perfect. Even if I have imperfection, because I, ha I am human, I accept it. I accept myself. Okay, deep breath, you can stretch. So, how do you feel? Some messages have been able to feel you, to bring in. Okay, very good. So, when there are blockage, most of the time we need to work on uninstall a program. Uh, when the belief is very strong, um, it can be guilt as well. Um, we make mistakes and we keep the guilt. So maybe you will need to unprogram. Even if I feel guilty, I love myself, I accept myself. Um, so here we practiced it for self-sabotage, self-esteem stuff, but it also works with physical pain, in particular back pain, because back pain is often psychosomatic. Uh, it's often the translation of uh, psycho-emotional psycho blockage. For the, for the back pain it really works, so it will be, even if I have this pain, I love myself and I accept myself completely. It can sound weird, but your body, your mind, your being is hearing it. So really excellent result on back pain um, and also on phobia, on certain phobia, it can work. And I would say for any aspect of your life, each time you face something which is upsetting you Identify which belief, which negative belief uh, is the problem. You see, um, it can be in relationship with other people. Um, it can be, I think this person doesn't like me. Even if I think this person doesn't like me, I love myself. So you can unprogram like that or only reprogram. Um, 
I don't know, you have a stressful event, it will be, uh, and if it was going well, and if it was easy, and if I was totally able to deal with that, okay? Because once again, this self-saboteur is toxic for our well-being, of course, but for our life, because the pervert aspect is that if I believe it will go bad, it will go bad, most of the time it will, because our attitude will drive us here. I am scared of being abused or what? It will be more prone to happen because you will have a victim behavior, a victim attitude. Or if you think, I will fail, I will fail, I will fail, all your being will hear you like, oh, he wants to fail or she wants to fail. Let's do it. Okay, so I will not talk about um, attraction law, but there are other aspects around that as well. Um, that's it. So do you have maybe questions? Or if you have specific requests, we can also work together to find your own sentence, to find your own personal program that we need to uninstall, reinstall. It's up to you. You can come to me anytime at the tent, just behind, just close to the big orange fabric. And, uh, and also, I will put the record um, on the internet. So if you want to be able to see it, please, you will have the internet data here, if you want to make it pass. Through the website, you have the Facebook page, and I will put the updates on Facebook for you. And so you can see it again, the sequences and all this stuff, and the meta meditation. And so you can do it again at home, if you feel like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. And if I had only one wish for you, is that you see yourself as I see you now. You are beautiful. Please, smile. It's all right. And you see, Elise, she doesn't care. Life is simple when we decide to do so.